In this video, I will show you how to configure SSH access on Cisco XR. So the first thing you need to do is to generate your RSA keys. This is very important and that should be the first thing you start with. So crypto key generate RSA. So here we can go a little bit higher and then we start the, the actual configuration. So we configure the SSH server and version 2. And then you also have to allow SSH to the node by configuring your control plane and management plane. So I go into my control plane. If you have watched my previous video on how to enable Telnet access, you will see that the configuration is pretty similar here. The only difference is that you're allowing SSH instead of Telnet. So control plane, management plane, and it's the inbound access. And I want it for all interfaces. You can be selective on the interfaces, but it's, it's not very common. So in this case, I will allow it for all interfaces. And then I will allow, I'll just show you which protocols are available. So NetConf, SNMP, SSH, and so forth. I will allow SSH. And you can also select a peer address if you want it to be, uh, if you want SSH to be permitted for a set of uh, sources or servers and what have you. But in our case, I will just keep it simple and allow SSH. So let's just check our configuration. Show sure config changes difference. Show commit change difference actually which will show me just the section that I am adding as we speak so this will not show the part where we're creating the RSA keys because that was out of the config because this was out of the config context um, what we have configured so far is control plane management plane inbound interface all and allow SSH so here I'm happy with this and I short commit Now that is committed, I will hop into my router one, which is iOS based, and I will just test my SSH. So SSH, and then I put my username, and then I put the destination host, which is the loop back of the XR node. And then I have full access. Yeah, so this is what I was looking for, where we can actually see that it is an SSH session that is uh, enabled or ongoing. So I hope you found this informative and educational. Any questions or comments, please drop them below. And once again, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.